people over party. More and more, it seems that political parties are in the way of getting things done. We all know it. We are all tired of it. And yet, we can't seem to get them out of the way. This is because, as the founders noted, they are an inevitable outgrowth of human nature and even a protected right under the First Amendment, the right to free assembly. But when did coming together bottom up turn into falling into line top down? The key here is to understand that the problem is not parties specifically, but rather the stranglehold that the two-party system has on our politics. And it's a natural result of the way our elections are set up and how our government processes have evolved to operate. We've already explained some of the ways we can get parties out of politics indirectly. For example, separating money from politics. But there are two more direct ways to put political parties back in their rightful place outside of government. First, official government processes simply shouldn't refer to parties at all. It is currently the norm that the party with the majority gets to choose the Speaker of the House. But that's not in the Constitution. Committees are formed by the majority party, not in the Constitution either, and so on. These are all rules that have been put in place over the centuries by, you guessed it, leaders of political parties that also happened to be leaders of our country. That's why the first of two components of People Over Party is to end this. No more political parties listed next to names on official ballots. The people shouldn't vote for a candidate simply because a party endorses them. If that's the only reason you're voting for a candidate, maybe it's a vote that you shouldn't cast. No more using parties in parliamentary rules and proceedings. Parties can exist, but need not be in control of the halls of power where political independence is so important. This brings us to the second component which is even more important. In fact, perhaps the most important and impactful proposal within the entire reconstitution. And it empowers third party and independent candidates to finally have a chance at winning elections. You see, the reason it's so hard for independent candidates to win is because nobody wants to waste their vote on a candidate that is unlikely to win. Nobody wants a spoiler. So ultimately, that candidate is unlikely to win because nobody wants to waste a vote on the candidate that is unlikely to win. And round and round we go. This problem can be resolved with a critical and innovative upgrade to elections, which is only recently made truly feasible by using the technology of the 21st century. It's called ranked choice voting. In ranked choice voting, rather than selecting which candidate you want to win, an all or nothing decision, you can rank your candidates in the order of your choosing. So if you want to put your independent candidate first, there's no risk of your vote being wasted or your candidate becoming a spoiler. If your top choice ends up not having a chance, your vote is given to the second pick. And if your second pick doesn't have a chance, then your third pick and so on. This is perhaps the most important upgrade to the entire concept of elections and voting since the very beginning of elections and voting thousands of years ago. We go from select one to rank as many as you want. This means each of our voices remain at the same volume, but each of us say more with our individual ballot. While ranked choice voting has only entered the mainstream political conversation over the last few years, it's also quickly being implemented all over the country, from Alaska to Maine to New York City. This is an easy win for political competition, political independence, and for the voices of the people. Let's get it done. What do you think? Comment below or join us for our seventh constitutional conversation on Thursday, September 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, where we'll discuss this more broadly to integrate your feedback as we continue to revise and refine the language of the Reconstitution. Join the conversation. See you there.